You are watching the Effort Brand of Wrestling and Entertainment here on YouTube.com, and I am back with the new Xbox Revealed. It was just revealed an hour ago live on Xbox.com and on Xbox via the live event player. Now, they mentioned a lot of cool content, new features, specs that were built into the Xbox one, which is now what it is going to be called. It is going to be called Xbox One, and I have to say the console itself looks amazing. It's big and bulky like the original Xbox was, but it also comes with a integrated Kinect sensor and the new revitalized Xbox controller, which has a built-in lithium battery, so when your controller dies, you'll have to be forced to go out and buy a new controller. But you figure you'll save money on rechargeable batteries and AA batteries in the long run. So I'm going to get right into talking about the new Xbox and wrap this video up for you guys so you can leave your thoughts and comments on this video. So I'm going to get right into it. Xbox One recognizes what you were last doing using the Kinect sensor. All new revitalized Kinect, which comes with a 1080p HD cam. Also new dashboard that supports Windows 8, more interactive dashboard and interact features. You can be playing a game and also with the new Skype feature, you can open up your Skype and call somebody while you're playing the game rather than talk on the Xbox headset. You can also do other features such as watch TV live broadcast through your Xbox. So what you could do is play your, say you're playing Call of Duty and you figure, you know, you want to take a break. All you have to do is say Xbox, watch TV, and it'll go to whatever station you want it to go to and you'll be able to watch that live feed rather than switch inputs and go to your actual cable box or dish device. Really great stuff there. I was really interested and really liked what we saw. And it's got me wanting to get one uh, right off the bat. It drops this fall. And one of the first games to be announced for it was Call of Duty Ghost. You'll also get other games such as UFC, FIFA 14, Madden 25. You'll also get NBA Live 14 a game called Quantum Break, and on top of that, you will get 15 exclusive Xbox video games from Microsoft Studios, and 8 will be a new startup franchise. So you're getting about 20 plus games right off the rip when the game first drops. Also, there is a new game coming out called Infinity, which will be available on the Xbox One. It is going to be a MMORPG, and I think that's actually pay-to-play service. Not only do you have to pay for your Xbox Live, but you also have to pay to play that game with your friends as well. Uh, the also announced today, we will have a first-ever live-action Halo television series of license on Xbox, directed and produced by Steven Spielberg, the same man that bought us Jurassic Park, the same guy who bought us Independence Day, the same guy who bought us Back to the Future, and I believe he also did Indiana Jones and several other movies as well. So let's get talking about some of the other features for the Xbox, shall we? Sorry guys, I got a whole bunch of notes here. Um... The hardware inside will have a official Blu-ray player. It'll have an 8 computer processor. It'll have 8 gigabytes of RAM, a 500 gig hard drive, over 5 billion transistors. Also, the Xbox controller will have a built-in wireless battery. That is probably one of the uh, one a built-in battery which will, you know, I think you know is bad because say if you, you you by accident you leave the controller laying upside down and the buttons are active you, you're just gonna drain the juice on your controller um, they also talked about smart glass which is also another feature that is actually pretty cool um, 
new Xbox Live. Xbox, when it first started in 2002 with Halo 2, um, there was, I think, 500 servers. Then when Halo, when Xbox 360 launched, you had 5,000 servers. Now, with the Xbox One, you'll be connected to 15,000 servers to keep you connected in gaming on Xbox Live Network, which I thought was great. There was also a lot of talks about how there may be a possible DVR included or um, some kind of in-game, in-system in integrated capture card so you can capture your games. Also, the Kinect is a must-have, and uh, from what I've been, I, from what I understood, this is a always-on Xbox. They didn't give us too much. They just gave us a taste of uh, what we could see. We obviously have to tune in to E3 to find out if the game is going, the system is going to be user game friendly. Um, when you walk into the room and you say Xbox on, it'll recognize your voice and automatically sign you in based off of your voice, which I think is kind of you know is going to be a pain in the ass because if I say Xbox on and it turns on, it automatically signs me in. What does it mean if someone else wants to play um, and log in under their account? You know, how is that going to work? They really didn't touch on that. So, have to see what happens and see how this is going to uh, turn out. They announced in many articles that the console will be $500. I would assume that that's going to go down depending on the price of PlayStation. Because if they're going to charge $499.99 for this console, you know PlayStation 4 is going to go... Lo slightly lower because everyone's going to want to buy the cheaper of the two and honestly I see Xbox dropping their price or confirming a solid price maybe around the $400 range which is usually what the um, Xbox 360 originally went for when it first dropped if I'm not mistaken so guys we got a long list of stuff to look forward to they're going to be announcing more games at E3 more features and more stuff and exclusives. So we'll have to tune in in about 19 days for E3. Guys, thanks for watching this video. Leave your comments in the comment box below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more from the Ephraim brand of wrestling and entertainment here on YouTube.com. Catch you later.